Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Legion and today we'll be going over how to add your own A320 skin. So these would be able to be designed by yourself or you can have someone do it for you. But we'll be walking you through how to get it all sorted. Now I spent most of today designing this one. This is for my own stream. And uh, as you can see, quite a bit of work has been put into this to get everything to match. The tail number here, you can alter the colour, I haven't got around to that just yet, I sort of wanted to try and get this video out pretty soon. Now of course you can see that pink line on the tail, that is a marker that I've put in the template to show you where you will need to place your files. So this bit here is actually two different sections of the file, so you have the front of the tail which is with these side parts here, so the colouring for that is also part of this. And then this bit on the back here is a section in another file, which you will need to do a bit of copy and pasting and trial and error back and forth between the sim to get that organized. Now, once you have copied across the template file, you can actually go ahead and launch your sim. I'll show you how to do that in terms of getting the livery all organized, which will prevent you from needing to restart the sim every time you want to see your update. There is a bit of a bug which we found a workaround for now, hopefully Microsoft will fix this or allow us to make skins a lot easier than what we have to do now. So we'll get onto it and I'll go over to Photoshop and we'll get started. Alrighty, so here we are in Photoshop, this is the template file that we've got here organized everything is labeled for you so this is the under bit of the air, uh, airplane being the belly and then you've got the front of the fuselage and the back unfortunately it can't all be in one because that's the way this file works and then of course this is your tail and then you've got your landing gear doors and so on here and then there's a line that goes around the nose cone at the front now some of the other files you've got here this is for your rudder your wing so this is that little bit on the end of the wing that I showed you just before and then of course if you wanted to do coloring on your the wing to be whatever you like you can also do all of that in here it's pretty simple to change the color all you do once we're in here is you can click on this layer here which says paint now by default these two will be enabled but you just make sure you turn them off before you do your export or you can use them as a guide once you're in the sim to see where your work's at but obviously when you're ready to finalize make sure they're off so click on the paint here layer we go over here to your paint bucket we can set any color we like in here this has jumped up on my other screen let me bring that across so let's say we wanted to do it red so you can just chuck it in red there and you can click anywhere in here for this layer and it will update all the color parts of the aircraft now if you were to save this as it is you would have a completely red tail and red wings not the full wing but just the end part as you can see there the outline now of course you have the ability to also change the engine color so we can do that and this will highlight all those areas as well for you now same thing goes for this one paint go for it now all you need to do after that if you want to put your own design in you can do that as I said it is trial and error in terms of getting everything right there but once you do, it is really nice to look at your own work and fly it around the sim. And look, if you believe it's high enough quality or even you're just happy enough to share it, jump into the Discord and share it with the community and it may be added to the pack and then you might see your work out there flying around the sim. Now, you will need the DDS editor for Photoshop. Now, you can get this via the NVIDIA uh, developer mode. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But once you're there, you create a free account and you sign up for it and then you'll be able to download the plugin. You are able to do this with other photo editors such as GIMP or Paint. I'm not going to go into that today, but there are other videos out there on how you can edit DDS files within them. It works much the same, only if there's a few more steps involved in terms of obviously scaling your images and whatnot. Now this here, this is my design, just to show you what it looks like once it's all finished. Now, of course, this shows the front part of my tail, the undercarriage of the fuselage, or the back, should I say, it wraps the whole way around it, underneath, and then, of course, the front of the plane. Now, this line here goes around the nose cone, which is just here, and then if we go into the other section, so this, by default, will have this part on. Now, this part here is basically an overlay for your tail, so if you were looking at, let's say, the default skin for Microsoft Flight Simulator, this would have the Neo written down here. So you have Neo written on both sides. We don't need that because of course I've done it in the other file, so we can just go ahead and hide this. Now that will leave you with this part here. 
So these are for the in and outside. So the way these work, so left is in, right is outside of your wing. So that little part at the end where you've got the point, that would be what displays in there. So you can do a solid color or an image like I've done. It doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and do that. In terms of the livery text, this would be where you would normally see Neo. In this case, we've just blanked the file out because we really don't need it. Everything can be achieved with the other one. It's just another step. This will be included in the file and you can just go ahead straight away and copy this across. In terms of the wings, this is showing you that uh, section from before. Obviously, you've got the points. This would be where those photos I just showed you in that last one would appear if you put them there. And then this is the, the uh, back part of the rudder, which, as you can see, those pink lines there, they're a guide as to what will show, sort of the cutoff area. So the stuff in here will not display. The stuff out this way will. Now, once you've done all that, you can go ahead and save that to the sim. So I'll just show you here. So if you press Control Shift S in Photoshop, this will bring all of this up. Now you just want to go down to here. By default, it will be set to probably Photoshop. You just go down to the DDS NVIDIA Texture Tools exporter, like so. I've pinned it up here, but you will normally need to go to your app data local roaming folder. So you'll be here. And then we go down to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once we're here, go to Packages, Community, into your A320 folder. If you don't have that, that would be probably because you haven't done this yet. You can get the files that everything that you need will be in the description anyway, including this folder. So you can just copy it as it is. For me, I've got other skins in here. Of course, as you can see, this is also available in here. The one I'm looking for today is the texture template file. So in here, this is where we find all those files we just had open. You go ahead and save them to match each one that you've opened. Once done, uh, that's practically it. So what one are we? We're editing the wings at the moment, so we'll hit save on this one. Now obviously it's going to ask me if I want to replace it, which in this case I will. It will bring this window up. None of these options you need to change, so don't stress about them. All you do down here, hit save. That's it. It will be ready to go into the sim. Now I'll be back in just a moment. I'm going to show you how to set up that Nvidia account. Alrighty, so all you need to do is open up Google, search NVIDIA DDS plugin there. Should be the first link that comes up, it'll be from developer.nvidia.com and it's just called the Texture Tools Explorer. So if you click on that and scroll down, there'll be a little download here. Once you click download, it'll take you to this page. Now I've already got an account, but for you, you can just click join now, fill in your details, they'll send you a verification email. Once that's done, you'll be able to log in. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly log in and I'll be right back. Alright, so once you're logged in, you'll reach this page or it may take you straight to your profile. For me, it takes me to here. Once you're here, you can simply go back to Google and type in that same thing again. So NVIDIA DDS plugin. Once you do that, click the link again, go down to download and this time once you click download, it'll do so. So you can notice that's done down there. Once that's done, simply click and run it. I won't do it because I've already got it installed but click and download that, run it, put it into the folder. You won't have to add it manually yourself. It will automatically put it where it needs to be. The next time you open Photoshop, it'll be there. So after you've done all that, there's a couple of other things we need to do. Now for this, what we will do, we'll go back to the main folder. Now first what you want to do is go into your layout.json folder. You can just right click and open this with something like Notepad++. For me, I'm using Visual Studio Code, which you can get for free from Microsoft. Now, I've got a bunch of these in here already. You won't have these, probably, unless you've already downloaded the kit. So if you press Control F uh, from my template, you will find that I've actually gone through and added a texture template file for you. So this will come up with 13 individual results. It references every single one of the files that you're provided with. And all you need to do is copy from this little bracket here all the way to the bottom of these. So if we go down to here, and you want to make sure that you get this comma just here. So if we hold, uh, sorry, if we click at the top, go down here, hold shift and click again, it'll highlight it all. Just copy it and paste it into your file. So you can do that or if you're only using this skin, of course, you can just put this in there. Now, once you've done that and updated, so normally what will happen is if you name your skin something different, so for example, go back to here to the templates, let's say it was AAL. 
all you need to do is update this part to say AAL and save it. So you do that for each and individual one of these. Once that's done and you've saved it, we can go back into that folder. And we just want to go down in your A320 folder. So you'll get this one as well. Go down the bottom and it's got aircraft.cfg here. We want to open this one up. Once in here, you'll see this will probably be pretty minimal for you. I've, as I mentioned, got a lot of skins in here. So these are all the skins that we've got. Now you will need to copy and paste this whole last one. So for the sake of the video, I will do this. So we will do this. Now you'll notice these two have the same number. We can't have that. So all you need to do is click on the last number, backspace it, and in this case it's 42. So it just goes in order from whatever the last one, so 41, 42, 43, and so on. You want to update this name here to whatever you'd like the variation to be called. You update this here to whatever your folder is called. Now note this is case sensitive. It's recommended to have it all capitals and the same for your file name. Go down to here. This can be just the same name again and same with this here. Now, once you've done that, if you need to alter the color for the back here, all you need to do is look up a hexadecimal color code. So for example, white would be hashtag and then six Fs. So if we do that like so and save that file, when you load into the sim, your skin would be whatever color you've done it and then the text would be white or you could do zero, 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 which would be black or whatever other color that you're aiming for. You can do that, save that and that's it. So then when we go into the sim, you will have your file there. If you don't, leave a comment. I will check it out and try my best to support you as soon as possible. Obviously, we are trying to launch as many skins as we can as soon as possible, so I may get tied up with that, so please allow me some time. Okay, so once you're at the familiar screen of the home menu, you wanna go up to profile. Now, this is to go and view your skin as you're creating it, as you've done following the steps in this video. Now, you just click on my hanger, by default, it will go to the last aircraft that you'd flown. Now, you can change it down here, hitting F11 or X on a controller, and then of course you've got liveries. Now, as you can see here, all of mine are here. These are the ones in the pack available from the description of the video. They'll all be there, linking also to the Discord where we create all these. Now, you will see your template. It will be somewhere along here if you don't, uh, sorry, if you do have other aircraft, if the template is the only one that you have, then of course this will be the only other option aside from the default Neo. Now what the issue is that we've found is that when you are viewing the template, which you can do once it's in the game as I said, all you need to do is click the template and this will load the most current save from Photoshop. Now the issue we found is that when you go back to here, you can't click on the external view, it's in cinematic or the cockpit. This is pretty annoying when you're trying to get those finer details on fixing up your aircraft. But there is a simple solution. All you have to do is click on profile, go back to hangar, and then you'll be able to click it and move around freely. Now another thing is setting up your screenshot. So what you want it to show you in the menu as to what the aircraft looks like. This is very simple to do. All you do is go into your settings of the game which we can access by going back to the home menu, enter options, go to general, scroll down to the bottom, click developer and turn developer mode on. You'll notice this little bar appears up the top. Now all we want to do here is type in a project name. So for this we'll do test, that will go there. Hit OK. This is going to bring up this window. This is exactly what we want. Now hit this little plus down here. Once you do that, you want to make sure it's an art project, package name, you can just call, for example, this one is Legion, as it's mine, hit create, that'll do this. Now, what you should see from this point is if you hit view, you can go to Inspector and it'll bring up this photo here. One of the options here that you'll see, once it comes up, there we go, so you've got custom thumbnail. Once we're in the hangar, this part here will show take a photo. So I'll show you that just here. Let me apply that. So if we go to the hangar now, you'll notice capture aircraft thumbnail comes up. You can just click that. That will bring up this screen. You save it to where you'd like. Preferably, 
you can save it straight into the folder. So you go packages, community, A320, CML objects, airplane, Neo, and then you would find whatever you've called yours. In my case, it's template. Once in here, you can just go select folder and that's going to do its thing. It'll black your screen out for a sec, open this up and it's done. Once that's been completed, you're free to publish your aircraft and enjoy it yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.